Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ajax G here. Today I have top five laptops for computer science students, the 2018 edition. I did one last year for 2017, so here's one for 2018. If these laptops are out of your price range, at the end of this video I will have some specs for you to find a laptop within your price range. So let's get into it. The first laptop is a Lenovo, it's the 330S series. Um, it is an i5 8th gen. It has 120, 128 gigabytes of storage. This is an SSD, so that is good. It comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM. I did not see on the Best Buy website if the RAM is upgradable, but you can always check the manufacturer's website. It has two USB 3.0 ports, which is backwards compatible with 2.0. It has one USB Type C port and it has seven hours of battery life. This is great for a student, especially if you're gonna have it with you all day and you don't plan on bringing a charger. So that's something you can have with you. On the bottom left of the screen, you can see this laptop is priced at $529. The next laptop that we have is HP. It's the HP Envy, the X360 2-in-1 series. All these laptops that I'm showing you are all 15 inches or higher. Um, so for this specific model, it is another i5, it's an 8th gen. This has 256 gigabytes of storage, this is SSD. All the laptops that I'm going to show you are solid state drives, so don't worry about that. Um, this laptop is un upgradable to 12 gigabytes of RAM, if I stand corrected. It comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM, it has two USB 3.0 ports, one USB Type-C port, and that USB Type-C port is a charging port. So the laptop that I have, I haven't checked it out yet, but I do have a video of it. It's going to be on the top right of this screen. Um, but this laptop that you see here, the HP Envy, you are able to charge this laptop with the USB Type-C. I know a lot of people carry around the Anchor charging, portable charger, so this is something good for you. HPs usually have four to six hours of battery life, depending on how you're using it. Um, again, at the bottom left of the screen, it, this laptop is priced at $850, but of course on other websites, it's probably way cheaper. Also, always check open box, guys. Always check open box. The next laptop that we have here is a Dell Inspiron 2-in-1. This is the 5K series. This is the i7 8th gen series, so this is, has a little more horsepower um, for CPU-wise. It has 512 gigabytes of solid state drive, so that is good because right now I have, I believe, a 256 and I'm down to 90 gigabytes of storage. Um, I have a few games on Steam on here and I also program, so that's just to give you an idea of how much 256 gigs can take you. So if you have double that, that's awesome. This comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM already built in. I don't think you can upgrade that because no one needs 32 gigabytes on a laptop. Um, this has two USB 3.0 ports. Sadly, this laptop does not come with a USB Type-C. And for the price range, personally for me, I think that's a little um, out of hand. But you know what? To each his own. Um, yeah, this is a full HD screen. The other two weren't full HD. But honestly, I don't think anyone really notices that nowadays. But, you know, to each his own. Um, Dell laptops, so far, the ones that I've had, I've had three in my lifetime. They usually last six hours, and that's with the screen on dim. Four hours for heavy usage. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the price is at $9.29. Personally, I don't think that price is fair, especially since it doesn't come with a USB Type-C. But this is an option for anyone who doesn't care about that port. And of course, you can't do a uh, top five laptops without mentioning a MacBook. So professional engineers definitely use MacBooks. Like that is the, the standard in all tech companies. There's some people that, you know, they're a Linux person or they're a Windows person. You have those one or two people in the office. But nine out of 10 times, MacBook Pros was used in standard in the workplace. So what I would say, if you have the money, don't go and try you know break break bank to get a MacBook but if you can afford it I would say definitely get it this does not depreciate as fast as Windows computers I can tell you that right now and they last like um, I had one when I was using 
Unity and I felt like it's better than the machine that I have now. But it's about the same thing. This one is a new Accord. So they're coming out with new MacBook Pros. I wouldn't say get a 2017 because the i8 is, I mean the i8. The 8th gen processors are way better than the 7th and the 6th gens. But you know, so the price range can go anywhere from 1200 to 2700 It depends on how you modify the specs and if you buy the ones with the touch bar without the touch bar. That's just for you to know. Okay, the last one that I'm going to show you is for those of you who want to game on the go and have a dedicated graphics card. This is the HP Spectre. This is the 15 inch 4K Ultra HD. It is an i7 8th gen. This comes with 512 gigabytes of solid state drive. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM. I think this one can be upgraded to 32 um, the last time I checked, but I'm not 100% sure about that, guys. I'm sorry. I know it is uh, ready to use, I believe, the Vive. One of the virtual machines that you can put on your eyes. It's one of the two. Um, I know it's ready for that. It has a USB, two USB 3.0 ports. It has two USB-C type uh, ports. They are both charging ports, so that is awesome to know because a lot of people carry uh, a bank with them, a battery bank. This has two Thunderbolt uh, ports, so that's something to look out for. Anyone that's really into 4K display, this is definitely for you. It does come with the HP pen, uh, you know, for the touchscreen part. This laptop is really sleek and beautiful. Like, honestly, I would have bought it for myself with me personally. If I'm going to spend $1,500, I'm not getting a PC. Um, but to each his own, again, um, this is priced at $1,500. Of course, you can always find it somewhere else or refurbished open box for about two to $300 cheaper. So always look out for that. And remember, Best Buy always pr price matches with Amazon and usually Amazon has something cheaper. So for this, if you're going to be gaming on it or doing any heavy well, gaming on it, you're going to get probably two to four hours. Anything else, you're going to get four to six hours on this machine. So these are the top five laptops that I would personally buy as a computer science student. And if these prices are out of your price range, I am about to tell you about the specs that are best for you. So the best minimum specs for laptops are an i5 processor. That's the minimum that you want. You don't want an i3, I'm telling you, you're going to lose your mind. Next, you're gonna want eight gigabytes of RAM at least. Nothing you do is going to need more than eight gigabytes of RAM unless you plan on developing games, which I would say, please get a PC because Visual Studios work best with Windows. Mac does have a version of it, but it is best with PC. That's just my personal uh, saying, but it is true. A solid state drive, I'm telling you, if you have a regular hard disk drive, it's going to take forever to boot. And depending on the size of your projects that you are building in your classes or on your own, it's going to take a while for the whole program to boot up for you. So, and especially if you use using emulators instead of your phone. You want portability, you don't want it too heavy because you're going to be carrying this all day around your back. But of course, not everyone cares about that, but that's one thing I would say you want in a laptop. And battery life, you want to make sure that your laptop is going to last you at least four to six hours because, you know, you have a class, you have two classes back to back, you have a break, you can charge up your laptop for the next two classes, or if you have three classes in a row, you want to be able to use your laptop for that whole time. Not everyone that's a CS major are taking three CS classes back to back. It might be English, it might be something else where you want you can open your laptop and do something else other than paying attention. I'm not saying you shouldn't pay attention to your professors, but this is something that you want to have. So thank you guys for tuning in. Also, you want your display to be good. I would say at least 15 inches. I have a 13 inch laptop because I really don't care about size because I have an external hard drive. But if you don't, I mean hard drive, an external monitor that I use mainly when I'm home and that's usually when I'm programming. So that is something that you want to look out for. Thanks again guys for watching. This is Ajax here. If you have any questions, leave in anything in the comment section down below. I will have links to these in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, Ajax.